Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Hitting that subscribe button costs you absolutely nothing and means so much to me, so I hope you'll help me out. Today we have a Louis Vuitton um, cross Tyler the Creator unboxing. So Tyler the Creator is apparently a um, American rapper. Um, I will admit I cannot name a single song of his. I know nothing about his music whatsoever. Um, I have not bought these pieces because I think like I have any affiliation with him whatsoever. Like I don't, these are not because it, they were made by Tyler, the creator. Um, I bought these pieces cause I actually like the pieces for what they are. So, um, yes, I will admit that I really don't know much about Tyler, the creator. I'm 43 years old. He's 33 years old and a rapper. I imagine his, um, fan base, um, is younger than I am. Um, but I did like this collection. There were pieces from this collection I kind of went, oh, and there were other pieces from this collection that I went, that's beautiful. I love that. So I have bought three pieces from this collection. Two of them belong to Mr. Lux, um, and it is a men's collection from Louis Vuitton. Um, and one of the pieces is mine. So let's get them unboxed and have a look at these pieces. Um, I know that they've just dropped into stores. So if you are interested, these pieces are now available. Um, I feel like with the current economy being as it is, that there is really no reason to rush to stores and try and get pieces. I feel like we're probably past that um oh my goodness the collection is coming we've got to be pre-orders we've got to buy stuff go 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 that we really felt probably about 12 to 18 months ago the state of the economy people um just don't have the money which is fair because things are very expensive basic things are very expensive so yeah I don't think you'll have a problem finding these pieces in store that's for sure um so the first two pieces come in this size box and those who watch me regularly are going to know instantly what are in these boxes especially when I say that they're for Mr. Lux because Mr. Lux has his very own collection uh all right so let's open it up and comes in this dust bag. Those of you who know, know. So let's open it. And we have the pocket organizer. So this is the pocket organizer in the, I'm calling it a vanilla color. It's really not a white, it's vanilla. Um, it's got that yellow undertone to it. It has the treated VVN down the side or Vachetta as people like to call it. And then if we open it up, it is also vanilla or cream on the inside, which is going to get super dirty because Mr. Lux does not care about keeping things super clean. He will use his things and they will get dirty. Um, you can see on the back of this, it has the dog, wolf, what are we calling it? Someone said it looked like a bat. So I think Dale said it looked like a bat, um, but I'm fairly certain it is a dog what it looks like to me. Am I wrong? Isn't it a dog? Um, so yes, it does have that on the back. And I know that they did a whole bag in this shape. No, no, I have not bought it. Don't get excited. It's not being unboxed. So it has the fleur de lis in this, um, almost like it's been hand painted. And then it's got a few color bits in it as well. I do like the treated VVN down the side. I think that's great. And that continues into the pocket. So it goes all the way around. So that is the first one. They haven't put Tyler, the creator in this, which surprises me. Sometimes when they're special editions, they will stamp the inside of the pocket organizers. So you know which collection it comes from. And they haven't done that with this, which actually surprises me. So there you go. So that's the first piece that Mr. Lux got. Anyone want to take bets on what the second piece is? <laughs> so if we open this box, we have the same size dust bag, strangely enough. And if I open it up, we have <laughs> the same pocket organizer, but in the brown chocolate, in the chocolate color. So I am calling them, hang on, let's get this one back out for a minute. I am going to call them vanilla and chocolate. 
because that's what they remind me of. So we've got the brown version, which is exactly the same. It also has the dog on the back, but he gets a little bit lost in the brown. I've got to say it has the same treated VBN down the side. And the inside of this one is brown, which will be much harder wearing. So that's handy. So this one, the product code is there. This is the brown product code in case anybody wants it. Uh, and then do I have the product code for the vanilla? I do. So this is the product code for the vanilla in case anyone is interested in that and wants to look it up. Do I have prices? You know what? I might. I might just have some prices today. Ta-da! We have a receipt. Doesn't happen often. Is this the receipt for this? Probably not. Oh, no, it is. Uh, okay, so these pocket organizers were $805 each. I feel like that's a little bit above a standard pocket organizer, but I don't think it's that much. I don't think it's hugely more expensive. $805 for pocket organizers. Are we getting a little insane? Probably. We are certainly hitting the ceiling of what these really have worth to me. But Mr. Lux has a whole collection. And if you haven't seen his collection, I will link the video down below. Um, so for us, yes, this works. And this was a collaboration and they are special pieces. So for us, it fits in the collection that we have going. So we'll add them. We don't add them. We don't add every pocket organizer that comes out where we are selective um, in it has to still be something that Mr. Lux likes. It still needs to be special in some way, as far as we're concerned, in our opinion. Um, it has to be special in some way. So no, we don't just buy them all, but these are limited pieces and it is a collaboration. So yes, these are our two pocket organizers that we just got. Don't you like how I say our as if they're mine as well? They're not, these are Mr. Lux's. So they will go and live in his collection. So the other piece that I have is mine. Even though it is a men's piece, I have bought it for myself and I'm kind of in love with it. So I will admit the next one is not a true unboxing. When it arrived, I needed to try it on, which tells you what kind of item it is. And I needed to make sure it fit because if it didn't fit, it went in it it needed to go back, um, but it has arrived. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it. I got it, I opened it, tried it on, love it, love it. So let's have a look. Oh, it comes in this big box. And I will admit I have not done a great job at getting it back in the box. You can see um, I have not been able to uh, put it in as well as Louis Vuitton do. And let's open it up. So this, um, I got a picture of from the runway. Did I get it from the runway? Maybe I got it from the lookbook just before it dropped. And I was like, I really love that. And I really debated this because I have something that is incredibly similar. But I'm really glad I bought this now because it's not as similar as I thought it was going to be. So let's get it out. So it is... A Louis Vuitton Varsity jacket. So I love this. It's beautiful. So it has Louis Vuitton across the back. It is not quiet luxury. No, it's not. But I don't care because I'm not a fan of quiet luxury at the best of times. So it has Louis Vuitton across the back. It has Vuitton on the front. And then it has these fantastic colors. So this is like, this is knitted. This is a knitted fabric. It is not um, a felt. It's, it's a proper knit. And you can see you've got the pink, the brown, the green, and the blue stripe through it. And that also goes into the fabulous collar, which I love. And this, the buttons on this are like a double breasted um, jacket. So they don't sit down the middle. They sit just off center. Um, and it is super heavy. Now, if you watch my unboxings regularly, you know I got a Varsity jacket not that long ago from YSL. I bought it in Melbourne. It is also black with white stripes. That one is not as heavy as this one. This is much more of a true winter coat. The other one is going to, like in Australia, it would work in winter still, the other one, but I would wear something warm underneath it. This one, I could wear a singlet top in this and I'm staying warm in Australia without any problems whatsoever. So they are different weights, most certainly. Um, and we are planning another trip to the snow this year. We went last year with the kids and we're gonna take them again this year. So this will probably come with me to Canberra. 
which is where we go to head to the snow. So it will be cold down there in winter and I'll take this because it'll keep me nice and warm. Um, the other one's more of a, I'm going to the pub piece. This is like, it's winter. I need to be warm piece. Um, look at me justifying it. <laughs> so this has two sets of buttons. It's got internal buttons as well, which you would also see in a double breasted jacket. The inside of this is very cool. So let me open it up. Look at that. Look at it. So it's all that um, same print that we saw in the pocket organizers. So it's the exact same. It's got the dog all through it. Um, it has an internal pocket. So it's very, they've built it, they've built it, they've made it to resemble a suit jacket in that it's got that double breasted style. It's got the two rows of buttons down the front. It's got the internal pocket. It's got that beautiful silk lining that we see in fantastic suits, but it is a varsity jacket. And I really love that play um, on the difference in what it actually is versus what they've made it to feel like when you wear it um, and so so warm so I'm loving this jacket I honestly when I ordered it I said to my sales associate I'm not sure if I still need it I've got my YSL one he said look this what this piece is going to be popular buy it you don't want it just send it back it's not a problem so I and I honestly thought when it arrived I was going to go it's redundant I don't need it I don't want it send it back I've got my YSL one but when it arrived, I was surprised myself with how much I loved it and how much I really loved the colors in it. Um, and that it is this different weight. It's very, it's got a very different feel to it to my YSL one. Um, and yeah, so I absolutely decided to, to keep it at that point. So this is an extra small. Um, so I think, so it's a good fit. I will put some mod shots in, but for an extra small, I honestly thought it would be too small, but it's actually come up as a really good fit. But I'll put some mod shots in of me wearing it here so you can see. Um, I probably wouldn't do it up a lot, but I can certainly do it up. Um, but I just love all these colors. I love how it feels. It's super warm. It's too warm to be wearing it today, but I am anyway. <laughs> um, so this is uh, the Embroidered Knitted Varsity in an XL. This was $5,450, which I actually think is not too bad considering the weight of it. If you live in a cl cold climate, great jacket. It's going to be fantastic. You'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that's what it is. I thought I'd ordered it in a medium, but I'm wondering if, uh, I'm wondering if my sales associate said to me, no, it's super oversized. Go with an extra small. I can't remember the conversation now. I've got a few conversations happening at the moment about, um, clothes, but it is like, you can see in the arms, the arms fit really well. It does fit me really, really well. So loving this jacket and super happy to have it. And it was certainly a men's piece that was very, very unisex. So yeah, that is my latest piece from Louis Vuitton. So you can see it's got the Louis Vuitton stitched into it, which you also see in their, um, suit jackets when they do them and for anyone who would like codes and things oh that is the tag for this jacket so i'm going to cut the tags off it and uh, hang it with all my other jackets so they're the pieces that i got from the tyler the creator um collaboration let me know in the comments down below if you picked anything up or if you even like this collaboration i know there's a few people out there who probably didn't think much of this collaboration whatsoever it was very much a, sh a small capsule wasn't huge um or let me know if you actually know who tyler the creator is and what your favorite song is and maybe i should hop on spotify and listen to his music <laughs> If you've liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to a content creator when you hit that subscribe button. Please also hit the little bell notification so you know when I've uploaded videos, which is usually twice a week. I'll also throw up my Instagram handle for you so you can come follow me over there. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection and my day-to-day -day life. So please come follow me over there. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.